Hi everyone, this is Heather Smith with Storyville Photography, and today I'm going to show you how to do this golden hour brown tone in Photoshop. So this is where we will end, and here is where we will begin. So the first thing I like to do is go into my Actions panel and run the Smoothing and Sharpening. So I'm going to click on the first step, which is Smoothing, and hit Play. Continue. And I'm going to turn this down to about 40, 42%. And then I'm going to hit the sharpening tool. And turn that down to about 40% as well. And that just gives it a nice dreamy base in my opinion. I love to do this on all of my images. The next thing I'm going to do is go to layer and flatten the image. And I'm going to go back into my actions panel and find the earthy tones and hit play, continue, and I'm going to first deselect this number one, we'll come back to that in a minute, and I am going to add a layer mask to the All About the Base, and what this does is kind of desaturates a lot of the tones, but I don't want that um, to affect their skin at all, so what I'm going to do is grab a soft black brush at 100% opacity, and kind of just wipe it off of their skin, I'm not going to take a lot of time making sure my mask is perfect because this is just for the tutorial purpose. But if you're doing this for a client or you want to print it, I would zoom right in make sure there's no halo. There's nothing worse than a distinctive line around um, your subjects. Okay. And that should be good for now. We can always come back and hit it again later, but like I said, for the tutorial, I think I'm fine with this. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, so before and after. It looked way better before, am I right, guys? But we're going to add in some fun um, brown tones that I love. So the first thing I'm going to do is hit number one and number four. I like the combination together. I'm going to turn this down to about 64%, and I'm going to leave number four at 100. Now, what I want to do is also mask this off of the skin. And instead of spending all that time remasking the same mask as you did down here, I'll show you a trick. All you have to do is hold the option down and slide it into the layer mask that you want to use. And I'm going to do that again. Select that, hold option down and slide it right on in there. Pretty cool, huh guys? So right now that's the before and after. And now I'm going to go back into my actions panel. Um, as you can see, I use these actions all the time. It just makes my life so much easier. So I'm going to go into the Storyville image base and hit play. And the image is already dark enough, so I'm going to turn off the darkened edges and the color dazzle and the contrast. The only thing I want here is the brighten up and uh, I might turn it down just a little bit and that looks good to me. And now I just want to brighten up their skin a little bit more. You don't want to go too crazy because this is a backlit image but I do want to bring a little bit more light onto their face. So to do that I'm going to go into the Storyville retouch and I am going to go into the brighten skin and eyes hit play. And first it's going to come on pretty strong, but we will dial it back. So I'm going to select that and grab a soft white brush at 100% opacity and just kind of hit their faces real quick. Just a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to turn it all the way down to zero and just kind of see where my eye likes it. And that looks good to me, just a teeny bit to help bring out the, the skin tone there. And the next thing I want to do is add a little um, light flare coming from the direction of the sun. So to do that, I'm going to grab the Storyville Sunburst, number 13, and I'm going to select it, copy it, and then I am going to paste it right on top there, hit screen mode, control T to move it, and I'm going to put it right around there might shrink it just a teeny bit and that looks good to me right there 
And you can always play with the opacity if it's too much for you. Um, you can turn it down, up. I'm going to leave it about 94%. And you can also, if you want to change the color or the tone of the saturation, grab a hue and saturation panel. And so it just affects the sun layer. Hit this downward arrow and you can decrease the saturation, increase it, whatever you want. You can also play around with the color tone if you'd like but I like it right there at zero, and I might just decrease the saturation a teeny bit there. And that looks good to me. And the next thing I wanna do is add a little bit more orange into the um, sun. So I'm gonna go into the Storyville Light Rays number eight, select, copy, and paste it just like I did before. Hit screen mode. And there we go, it just adds a little bit more um, you can also move it around if you'd like. I'm going to keep it right there. And the next thing I want to do is add a little bit of floating dust around um, the sun area. I think it just adds a little something extra. So I'm going to add a new layer mask. And I'm going to go up to my brushes. I don't have this in the store yet, guys, but maybe by the time you watch this video, it will be there. So you can always look for that. Um, okay, and I'm going to slip this. Um, select the Storyville Sparkle Dust Brush. And what I want to do is take a little bit of the color out of the sun. And to do that, I'm going to select um, the different tones in the sun by hitting Option and then just clicking there. So I think I'll use that color. And I'm just going to kind of add a little bit of dust. And that's the before and after. And that looks good to me. Um, we can be done there, guys, or I might just take it a little bit further, and I'm going to go back and grab a soft white brush at 100% opacity, get that to white, and I'm just going to dodge a little bit along this fence post. I'm not going to spend too much time on it because of the, because it's just a tutorial, but um, I'm not printing it or anything. And I like to kind of increase the highlights and decrease the shadows just a little bit. And then I'm going to click on the layer mask, invert it, and you can zoom in here and just kind of run it along the highlighted parts. And it just kind of makes the fence pop a little bit more. You can go really crazy, lay it on thick. Um, if you do that, I suggest you do some dodging and burning to your subjects as well. But I'm just going to add a little bit along here. Not a little. Okay, before and after. It's all looking pretty good to me. I think I'm going to come into the Storyville Earthy Tones one last time and increase the brown number one just a little bit to darken it up even more. That looks good. I like that. So I think we're done here, guys. Um, let me show you the before. So this is where we started, and this is where we finished. Thanks for watching, guys. You can find everything that I used here in the Storyville shop at www.storyvillephotography.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.